So you're moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area and you're considering moving to Fort Walton Beach, but you're probably wondering what is so good about Fort Walton Beach? Well, in this video, my team and I came up with the top seven reasons why you should move to Fort Walton Beach. And you wanna stick around to the end because number seven might make or break your decision. So stay tuned. Yeah. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group. We're right here in the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. As a military vet of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved tons of places. And every time I move somewhere, there was always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to expect, which is why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that little bell so that you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Honestly, we get tons of phone calls and emails and texts every single day from people that are moving to this area or thinking about it and they need some help and we absolutely love it. So if you are moving to this area and you need some help, again, give us a call, text, email, heck, shoot us a little paper airplane, whatever you need to do, we got your back when moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. So today, let's talk about Fort Walton Beach. All right, what are the top seven reasons that you should move here? Number one is, well, Okaloosa Island, the beaches. Yes, that white sandy beaches here on the Gulf Coast. So you may look on the map and you'll see Santa Rosa Beach. Well, it's not really what we call it here locally. We call it Okaloosa Island. It's technically part of Fort Walton Beach but it might just be one of the better things that we do have here. Now, that's six miles from Destin all the way to Mary Esther where everything kind of cuts off and it becomes part of the Hurlburt Field entryway for their airplanes. Now, during the part from where all the condos end all the way out to Destin is also part of the Air Force Base, but those beaches, well, they're untouched and you can walk down three miles of just untouched beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. Not only that, you also have the boardwalk that's out there where you can get some to-go drinks right there on the beach. They've got four different volleyball, beach volleyball courts. Uh, it's just a great time out there on Okaloosa Island. Now there's a bunch of condos that are there on the beach that you can go out. They've got six different entryways to get onto the beach. It's just, just a great time just to drive out there and spend the day with your, with your friends or your family or whatever and just enjoy living here in our area. Number two is the traffic or the lack thereof. Uh, <laughs> the one great thing about uh, being in Fort Walton Beach is having options when the traffic gets back. So from spring all the way until about when school starts in the fall, the traffic can get pretty backed up. And the main two proponents of these two are Highway 98, which is just along the south part of all of Fort Walton Beach. And that stretches from the Pensacola area all the way out past Panama City Beach. So that's just a lot where the main traffic goes through good thing is, is if you live in Fort Walton and you're trying to get somewhere else in Fort Walton, you don't necessarily have to stay and stick in that bumper to bumper traffic during peak times. Now, also a thing to remember about this area is that because of the way it's situated, as the crow flies, which means that if it was just a straight line where you needed to go, it'd be very quick to get from Fort Walton Beach to Destin. But unfortunately, we've got these big bodies of water like the bay and the intercoastal waterway and the Gulf that we need to avoid it to be able to drive on, right? So it does take a while to get to certain places where you have to go all, either all the way up and around or take the, the highway to try to get there. So. Uh, that's one of the great things about Fort Walton Beach is, is that you have options when it comes to traffic. Number three, if you are working at one of the larger workplaces here in the area, which is Hurlburt Field or Eglin Air Force Base, you're only about five to maybe 15 minutes max 
from one of the gates to get onto the installation. Now, if you're a military contractor, active duty military, what have you, it's, uh, it's very, very convenient. You have three different gates for Eglin Air Force Base. You've got at least two that you can get into over on Hurlburt Field. And each one, depending on where you live, uh, is actually pretty advantageous to avoid a certain amount of traffic uh, just in case something does come up. So very, very convenient. Number four is the great restaurants and bars. There's actually stuff in Fort Walton Beach, which is great. <laughs> Uh, if you go down to downtown Fort Walton Beach, you're going to have a whole array of different type of foods that they have there. There's a great German restaurant, Mexican, heck, they even have Jamaican, of course, seafood. I mean, you couldn't be on the Gulf without a good seafood place. There's even an Italian restaurant, a really, really nice, fancy Italian restaurant right there on the water in Fort Walton Beach that you definitely have to check out. There's so much more even in the area, but those, those are the specifics. Also, we have some great uh, watering holes, <laughs> some bars in Fort Walton as well. You have a couple of breweries and you do actually have some nice little options to go. And there's a, just an array of things in Fort Walton. You've got uh, one of my personal favorites is the golf there on Okaloosa Island. If you're coming in through Fort Walton Beach and you start to head down into Okaloosa Island, it's actually right off there to the left. Now here's a key insider tip. Don't be that tourist, all right? When you want to go that way, coming in from Fort Walton Beach, you actually have to take a right and go back under the bridge to be able to get around it. It's a big old sign that says, don't turn left here. And you still have tourists doing that and I've been stuck behind you. So please don't do that. Don't make me use my horn. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so the golf is a great place to go. It's a big open area. It has actually containers, like moving containers that they've converted into the uh, actual restaurant area, but all different types of seating. Just, just a great place to go hang out. Now, a couple of other places that you can check it out is they've also have KC's, which is another outdoor bar, but it's right on the main strip there in Fort Walton Beach. Cool part about that is that they took a whole bunch of that white sand and dumped it right in the middle of uh, that area. So it's a sandbar, but it's not really on the water, right? And it's really nice. They've got a stage. They usually have live music all the time, specials. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to go out and hang out. Right down the way, they also have little uh, kind of hangouts as well, a place called Coasters. It's that small dive bar type sort of feel that you're gonna get there, uh, but definitely a lot of fun. If you're looking for that club experience, they also have a place called The Block. Now going into The Block has three different clubs in one. It's one of those places where you can walk in, you walk in and it will be straight into a karaoke bar, transition to the middle room. It's a big country bar with a big old dance floor and transition through to the last room and it's R&B. So, it's a little kind of eclectic, but it's definitely something to check out if you've never seen it before. There's also a great bar in kind of the middle of Fort Walton Beach where you can actually go in and there's all sorts of old arcade games in there for you to go check out. You can go in, order a beer, and then play any of the old stand-up arcade games. There's even got some of the old NES consoles. It's just a really fun time, and you can have some delicious libations while you're in there. Number five is there's lots of options for shopping. It's not one of those rural places that you gotta worry about traveling out to go places. What I mean by that is that they do have all your standard things that you would want, which are like Sam's Club, you have Lowe's, tractor supply. They've got a couple different grocery stores like Winn-Dixie. There's a couple of them throughout Fort Walton Beach, as well as Publix. There's a couple of those as well, which is really nice. So you're not committed to going to one or the other. They've got some good clothes shopping there like Ross. They've got pet stores, party supply stores, and much, much more. It's just great because everything's kind of centralized there in Fort Walton Beach. Now, number six is it's right in the middle of where you want to go. So Fort Walton Beach is kind of center to Pensacola, to Panama City Beach. Uh, it's right next to Destin. It's just a short trip up north uh, to I-10 where you have access to go over to Alabama and Mobile, or if you want to head over to Tallahassee. It's actually very, very convenient. 
it's really nice to be so close to Destin where a majority of the things are happening and not have to live in that area and pay the premium for city taxes. So it's kind of nice. And last but not least, we have number seven, which is, well, great home prices. This is a real estate channel, so of course we got to talk about that. Uh, Fort Walton Beach is kind of that happy medium, all right? It's not the most expensive in the area, but it's not the cheapest. Great thing is, it's, it's a happy medium in location and in prices. So let's talk about that. Your average or median price that you're going to be looking for for a single family home in the Fort Walton Beach area is around $260,000. Now that's a high all the way up to 1.6 million, and that's a beautiful place sitting there on, the, on probably the bay or maybe even the Gulf. And you have a low of about 65,000, which was probably a trailer. Just saying. Now, if you are looking to rent in this area, you're gonna be looking at a single family home. So you're probably gonna be looking around $1,500 per month. Now, if you're looking at a high, that could be up to 3,200, which of course is probably one of those waterfront properties and a low of 825 per month. So that's all that we have for you for the top seven things that you'll want to know and the reasons to move to Fort Walton Beach. If you have any questions about anything we talked about here today, please leave them here in the comments below. If you have something else that you really love about Fort Walton that you'd like to share, please again, leave them here in the comments below. And if you are moving to Fort Walton Beach or any of the surrounding areas, you need some help, you have some questions, again, give us a call, text, or email. We're happy to help out any way that we can. Again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with eXp Realty, and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.